John Akers is back. John Akers was the dude that came up here and helped me with this smoke cast. Well, I shouldn't say help me, you did it all. <laughs> you watched. And it works really, really <laughs> well. I'm gonna have to do something else today I want no part of for a one-armed dude. You know what, we're up here at the cabin. Let's talk about the ins and outs, the simple process of putting in, it can be simple and not so simple, but putting in a wood-burning stove. Now that may sound simple, but a lot of people have never done this. So you can go a lot of different places and buy your wood burning stove. I chose to, to have a more classic style. I was going to get an antique one, but I couldn't find one to suit me. So Tractor Supply, they had the whole kit. The kit makes it a bit easier, but tell us the basic things you have to have to get this whole thing started. Well, the stove. <laughs> That's a good thing to have. The pipe. Now, but the process is a safety process. Yeah. People will put in stoves all the time. You hear about people burning their houses down We don't want to do that. Follow the process of being safe and making sure that your pipe is installed where it's solid sound, not going to move, and it's the proper pipe for the proper areas. You know, there's there's single wall, triple wall, so when you apply it the way it needs to be done, and you'll see this in the process of this, that it's as safe as anything, and it's a great cheap source of heat. Putting a stove in your house and putting pipe on it doesn't just make it work. There's a lot of detailed applications you've got to follow and think about that are almost chemistry with it that have to be correct or a stove won't draw wide it won't it won't, draw. it won't you know it, it won't function right so there's a process and there's nothing I don't care what you say there's nothing like wood, oh, it's wood. A good warm, it sinks in your warm, bones moist heat yeah, yeah uh, that's good that's let's good. go get it done all right, all right. I'm deal start a fire we drilled a pilot hole in the logs so we knew our center punch that center punch I marked the diameter of the double wall pipe marked it on the outside and we cut it out. Chipped and cut and as long as it was a little bit looser so the flange covered up any extra cuts, it was all fine. So now that we've got that, we'll set the dual wall pipe, the double wall pipe, the insulated wall pipe into the wall so we don't have to be concerned about any kind of heat coming off that pipe or catching the logs on fire. We've got the stack off the stove set in place. We've got the elbow locked in and level. The extension into the double wall pipe that's insulated for the fire. And then we've got a cap ring that has locked all of them together and sealed up to make it all unable to separate and come apart. Any, in any vibration or amount of time or whatever, it all is locked and staying together. We set that in place. We put the base bracket that holds the T that turns it upright that goes out the stack that will extend through your roof. You go up, they simply screw into each other, then you get to the top, you put your top on, put your brackets outside, of course, to hold the pipes up, and there's one last little anchor you put on the top. And then when you come back inside, the last thing you do is fire it up and make sure that it drafts. Now what that means is make sure that you see smoke coming out and not filling your room. So now we have wonderful heat in the cabin.